Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. apply uh, roller poles this reload okay these are the two other things I, I know if you observe here we have roll up this also related to roll up okay and we have video and we will discuss these two this UI element roll up in uh, no next session okay these are but actually those are not much important of course selenium IDE itself is not important okay these are the some extra features that they have given okay uh, generally, we will not use Selenium IDE itself, but however, we'll discuss these things. Yeah. Now, if you come across this one, can you see this base URL? Base URL means suppose if you don't mention any URL here, it will try to take the this as the base URL. Okay. So the, it's like something like default URL. Okay. Default URL. It is it is nothing but deal for loans. This is one of the website. Most of the times, we will work on this website. Okay. Now let us go to file menu. Here in file menu, we have new test case. When I say new test case, it is going to create a new test case here. Okay. Open. Open means we can open the existing test case. So would, would you like to save the test suite? Let me say save. Yeah. See here, we can open the uh, no existing test case. Let me let me get it from previous session, previous batch. See here, I'm opening something called Google Maps in the previous batch. I'm not saving it as right. Is it saving as? Oh, file open. I'd like to save this test sheet. Let me say, don't save. Okay. Now it is asking us to select a file. Okay. I'm selecting from the previous batch. I'm saying some G apps too. See, so yeah, it is opening this G app too. Okay, this is how we can open the existing test case. Okay, and so here file. This is for new test case. Open the existing test case. We can save the test case. We can save test case as. No, we can select a uh, different format, but I uh, know text format, text format and all. But preferable is HTML format. The base format is HTML format. Okay, file. Uh, you can. We were talking about export test case, right? So export. You can export your test case as into C sharp, Java. C sharp is nothing but Java related, uh, sorry, .NET related. Okay, wherever you find C sharp, this C, this uh, Ash symbol, we call it as C sharp. Okay, this uh, this is part of uh, .NET. Okay, here we have Java related options here. Okay, Python option, Ruby options. Okay, we can export this HTML, the base HTML format, right? We can convert that HTML format into uh, into required, uh, no, uh, into required format. Okay, in reality, uh, no, most of the times, uh, more not most of the times, in our class we are going to learn about this Java JN4 web driver. Okay, this is the web driver is the latest version. JN4 is the, you uh, know, uh, it is one of the framework in Java. It is also latest framework. Okay, and recent test cases means what is what are the recent test cases that we have all done? Okay, 
we can add a test case you now we can add the properties properties of the test case okay you can give the file name what is the title and all now we can talk about uh, this new test suite you know we can uh, open a we can create a new test suite we can open the test suite we can save a test suite save the suite as export again we can export the test suite also okay recent test suites close means which will close the uh, this selenium ide okay and see here edit menu these are uh, you know basic edit menus uh, here say observe here here command menus basically there are predefined commands if you observe here it will give lot of commands let me say open here okay I'm mentioning this and it's here. I can do undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, delete. And these are all uh, normal, uh, you know, we know these edit edit switches, right? Yeah. Here when you say insert com insert new command, it will you know, insert a line here. Okay. Edit, insert new command means it will give you a line here. And if you observe here, there is something called insert new comment. Okay. So here you can insert a comment here. Here you can mention a comment. Okay. So we can mention the comment also. Okay. Now we can delete these lines. Okay, edit, delete. If I may again delete this. So this is a comment. This is a comment. This is a command. Okay, comment will come in this this pink color. So we can insert a new command. We can insert the command comment, and the other options are you know common options that we know. Right? Actions. Yeah. What we can perform here? We can record. We can play entire test suite. And this the same options. Whatever the options here we have, the same options available here as part of actions. Record, play entire suite, play entire uh, current test case. This pause resume. This will be enabled only if you are in running mode. If you are in executing mode, these two enable. Uh, if you are in executing execution mode, and these are nothing but uh, no setting up this fast. Uh, no fast slow mode okay this fastest faster slowest slower slowest okay and toggle breakpoint we just discussed for debugging option set clear start point yeah we will discuss about this okay we will discuss these two options now set clear start point execute this command let me open the previous test case recent test case let me open this uh, amazon See, I want to execute, uh, you know, only this command. If you observe it, what is the URL? Amazon.com, some, you know, uh, blah blah blah. We have something. Just observe here. I'm double clicking on this line. I'm double clicking on this line. Can you observe here? It means it is just executing only this line. www.amazon.com. Okay. Now observe here. I'm, you know, selecting this line. I'm double clicking on this line. Just observe here. As of now, we don't have any value here. I'm double clicking on this line. It has entered locked up here. It means we can execute a single command on this on this script. Okay, we can execute a single command. How that can be executed using this option? For example, uh, no. Again, let me uh, no. Say here we just entered locked up. Right. Let me select this line. Observe here. Actions execute this command means this particular command only executed because of that you can see the results here. Okay, it was just enter laptops, but it did not click on go button. Okay, execute this command means we can execute only one command. Okay, it can be in two options. One is go to this actions, click on this ex execute this command, or 
double click on this line double click on this line or right click here you can say execute this command okay so by this way we can do this again suppose if you want to again perform this see here right clicking execute this command if you observe this url some blah blah if you execute this command sir so amazon.com only here okay so those are uh, some execute this command options now let us talk about set yeah say even though we have four steps here say i want to execute uh, you know from this step okay i don't want to execute the first two steps so i want to execute i uh, know only do these two steps right click here say set or uh, you know clear start point so this is my start point when i execute my script it will it will start executing from here okay it will not execute these two lines see here i am executing this so this it will directly enter this here it is get pause pause here so click on that see here okay so it is just ignore these two lines okay i am i am clicking on this okay once i click on this see here it is executing only these two lines okay this is about actions menu yeah so far any questions before we go to this options menu any questions here yeah vivek is asking what is the use of base url yeah uh, i know if you don't mention any url here see here vivek here i have mentioned open some url right if i don't mention any url here it will take the base url of course i have to mention some something like this okay so it will take the base url okay so if you don't uh, even if you don't mention any base url that should not be a problem okay but the thing is you know if you don't mention any so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 770 777 This is a United States number If you're calling from the UK call us at 020 337 One seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.